Well, hello, Tony. This is Scott again. I'm going to reshoot my shot with my digital camera instead of using my phone. Hopefully, I'll be able to download it and get a copy of it to you. But anyway, what you're looking at right now, this is the rear of the shop. Uh, these wooden shelves you see that I'm panning right now, those are some shelves that I built when I first got back here uh, to Texas. And that was mainly to free up space on these metal shelves so I can utilize them for storing material and uh, miscellaneous stuff for the shop. Anyway, everything that's on these shelves here is a lot of finished goods and also uh, shipping supplies, boxes, bubble wrap, etc. And in the middle of the floor we have a lot of finished goods, uh, saddle rack tiers, uh, saddle dollies, uh, saddle rack bases, and then right there in front of me front of me against the wall that's the, the little shipping area two tables tape and what have you and then beside it is in some more metal shelving that has finished goods on it and then this is my airplane hanger right here yesterday I built those wooden the wooden shelves on the back wall so I can get stuff up high and off of the floor and out of the way and uh, let's see, over here we've got two uh, tor dust collectors. Um, every, they're on casters so I can get them out and use them as I need them and then put them back so they're not in my way. Um, it's my sandblaster, which I have a lot of hours on it. I've sandblasted a lot of horseshoes and other miscellaneous stuff. Behind that is a really nice uh, oven. Uh, I do that's for doing powder coating. Inside dimensions are 29 by 29 by I think 37 high. Anyway, it's a real nice uh, oven. And of course, there's a refrigerator out here. Some more. Metal shelves with the uh, um, a lot of raw material on it. A lot of this material was stored out in my trailer for a long time and because of the humidity here and the trailer getting hot and cold and hot and cold uh, a lot of it got rusty and it's gonna mean a lot more work to me to get it cleaned up and use it for product uh, straight ahead that's my air compressor with the air dryer um, that right there is I, I bought two new fans industrial type fans I put them on casters and uh, I move them around and use them almost every day. This is my welding table. It's a little cluttered up right now. Um, anyway, that's <laughs> the way it goes sometimes. Some more metal shelves with a lot of clamps and vices. Uh, my grinding tools. Stuff like that. I have a 36 inch ugly Pexto shear that's uh, red and pink um, but anyway it was given to me so I can't complain and it works. This is the other side of the metal shelving. Um, oh, I've got a welder sitting on that I don't use very often on it. I've got a plasma cutter. Um, my roll away with my Kennedy and uh, Gerstner top box. Uh, a lot of miscellaneous materials. Um, got uh, all my milling machine and measuring tools back there. Five C collets. Uh, you name it for the machine for the shop. Um, 
There was my surface grinder, which I spent a lot of time on. I probably spent 40 hours getting it cleaned up and paint, re, some of it repainted and grind the chuck and all that other good stuff. Uh, this is the Morisiki lathe. And South Bend lathe, and I'm going to have to change my batteries.